guys, welcome to another exciting episode of Comageddon. Where all geek culture collide. We're your hosts, I'm Shannon. I'm John Warnes. And today, we've got a lot to do today. We've got the podcast, we've got the toy reviews, we've got Comic Books 101. John is going to be reviewing Voltron Legendary Defender Season 1 and 2. And on the podcast, we're going to be discussing both seasons of Voltron. We're going to be discussing Gotham, Star Wars, Power Rangers. So, news in a flash. Hey. So, uh, stay tuned. We'll be back with John's review after this. Okay, so I'm going to be doing a uh, little uh, review here on uh, season two of Ultron. I just finally watched season one and two, literally back to back. Um, but I'm going to go just concentrate mostly on two here for now. You can hear more on the podcast. Uh, so season two pretty much went in the direction I thought one and two were going to go in. Um, Shiro, is that his name? Shiro. Uh, Shiro, thank you. Uh, he pilots the uh, Black Lion. Uh, now Shiro, he kind of take, takes the place of Sven in the original, uh, uh, I keep wanting to say Thundercats, uh, <laughs> Voltron. And what happens to Sven is, Sven is believed to be dead. Uh, and then later on, I don't know how, I don't remember, uh, I have to read up, but he comes back. Well, that's exactly pretty much what happens in season two of Voltron, uh, except he just kind of disappears uh, at the end. By the way, spoiler alert, in case you're new to the show. Uh, <laughs> um, so yeah, at the end of the very last episode, very, very last episode, uh, season two, he disappears. Uh, so, um, my theory here, and I'll get back on track here. Don't worry. I'm good. Um, what's going to end up happening is uh, Keith, the red pilot, is going to end up taking over the black line. Um, let's see if I can remember my uh, colors here correctly. I believe uh, uh, Princess here, she's going to be taking over the, uh, I think she takes over the blue line, and then Lance ends up taking over the red line. So, and that's if they go by uh, the original Voltron at all whatsoever. Um, so that's really cool that the first two seasons uh, may end up being an actual prequel to the original Voltron series. And of course, we're also supposed to get um, um, Prince uh, Lotar, correct? Lotor. Lotor. Um, so that's really cool, because I believe he was like the main baddie in the uh, original Voltron series. So everything's coming together for those who were kind of like, I don't like this Voltron, because it doesn't like my Voltron. Patience. Um, I was lucky enough to go in not knowing a whole lot about the original Voltron. I was more of a He-Man, G.I. Joe, Transformers guy in the 80s, and I just, I guess I didn't have enough room for another animated series with a bunch of toys that I wasn't able to get. So, uh, but I'm really enjoying the series so far. Um, the characters are wonderful. Uh, the characters are very uh, animated. They're very uh, in depth. I mean, Keith has a background um, that we just started to unveil and share with everybody here in season two. Um, I think they may end up going in uh, another direction next season with maybe uh, Aurora. That's her name, Princess Aurora. Allura. Allura. Uh, I think they're going to probably delve more into her background a little bit next season. I think that's maybe where they might be going. That'd be cool. Especially if she ends up taking over the uh, Blue Lion. So, um, I kind of wish they would tone down the goofiness a little bit. I apologize. I had a big breakfast. So... Was that, was that the Ad Act? Yeah. The Ad Act will be on uh, tour or be the tour review this week, so it was just shutting down. Uh, there we go. Ah, there you go. You can't even see me now. So there we go. Alright. I think it's massive. Um, I just, um, I needed a new cartoon series. I haven't watched any new ones in a long time. It's hard. To get me interested in any, because uh, the cartoons nowadays just 
let's face it, they kind of suck. Teen Titans Go, example. Um, but no, this new Voltron is really cool. Uh, I really like it. Um, if they could just tone down the goofiness just a little bit, uh, I understand it's meant mostly for kids, but there's definitely a, uh, a young young adult and adult theme to this series. I mean, it, it, it's, it attracts everybody. Um, one of my employees, their kids, uh, he came home from work and caught his kid watching it. He goes, he didn't wait for me. No. That's the, you know. Um, and the toys for this thing so far are amazing. Um, it's really, right now, the only toy I can find out of the combined one is the Black Lion. Can't find any of the other ones. I'm, I'm waiting for the pilots. We need some pilots. Uh, maybe some of the uh, bad guys, too, with the little coffins. Uh, I like the redesign of the coffins, too, from the original series to the new one. Um, yeah. Uh, I mean, if you're looking for really a new show, uh, if you're a fan of the 80s, you love the original Voltron, give this one a chance. Um, get through the first season. I loved the first season. I have no problem getting, getting through it. Um, but get to the second season. The second season is where your nostalgia is going to really pick up for it. Because like I said, uh, we got the black pilot um, disappearing. He, he's pretty much a fan from the original series. Um, and then things are really going to start to pick up here in season three. I think it's going to be more... Uh, I think it's a lot closer to the original series than what it has been. Um, and mostly maybe because the creators heard the cries of the original fans. If that's the case, maybe we'll finally get the dun 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 for Voltron. Now we just need Peter uh, Cullen to narrate. So, um, I think on Netflix I went ahead and rated this five stars. So that's what I'm rating it here. One to five. Five stars. S check it out I mean it's great uh, what else is there out there really to watch right now you know uh, cartoon wise uh, at least until Young Justice season 3 shows up right so uh, here's hoping for a season 2 of Thundercats uh, come on Netflix season 2 of the uh, reboot Thundercats because um, this Voltron really has that kind of a tone to that reboot of Thundercats so this is just a perfect opportunity to pick up some other uh, cartoon series that never got a chance to finish, you know, it's run. Uh, I know season one of Thundercats had a final season, but uh, let's pick it up. Come on, we got Young Justice coming soon. Let's get some Thundercats in there. Maybe a reboot of Masters of the Universe. Uh, maybe a cooler, updated version of G.I. Joe. I know Transformers is now online somewhere. I know we got a new series somewhere online. Um, hence all the new toys they got out uh so come on let's do it voltron is a success let's continue the trend i'm john wise here with comageddon we'll be back uh with your toy